In this video, I wanted to give you guys a couple of tips on how to choose your great dispatch business name. This is not gonna be a long video. Before I even get to this point, I wanna let you guys know that this is all up to you. It's just my personal opinion, just a couple of tips. I first wanna say that it should not be something that you spend the most of your time on. If picking your business name has stopped you from starting your business and um, actually initiating and actually doing what you have to do, come on. Like, it should not take that much away from you. So I wanna let you know it. it's the least important thing. However, it is still important because you wanna represent yourself in a way that you can be easily identified for some people. Cause I mean, my business name is Bright Moon LLC. People will look at that and probably not assume that that would be a freight dispatcher, but it's all about how you want to represent yourself. One thing that I wanna say is, um, personally, maybe try not to use the term dispatching in your name because you know people are bandwagoners and they like to hop on trends when people are being mean to somebody a lot of times people like to hop in and be and be mean as well so if you're introducing yourself and like maybe you say a Facebook group or something like that and you're like hey my name is you know Samantha's dispatch service you know and so people might look at you and be like yet another dispatcher right and so a lot of people ask, is dispatching oversaturated? First of all, people ask that about every single niche, about every single business. And people say every single business and every single niche is oversaturated because that's what happens when you feel like you have competition. And I mean, think about how many truck drivers there are in the world. But anyway, I say that to say that might save you a headache to not put the term dispatching in there. Maybe put like, um, you know, uh, something lines of like load services or maybe like logistics because you are in logistics maybe do something with the term admin or like something like that just try to get creative you do you see what i'm picking up what i'm putting down just try to get creative in in your name um you can absolutely use dispatch service in your name if that's what cost to you i'm just giving tips because like i said if you're trying to advertise your business in the facebook group and somebody might be like dispatch service like oh my god i don't you know, want to talk to you because they heard their friends say that, oh, you don't need a dispatcher. But the truth is, I've had people come to me and they kind of said things like, my friend told me they started their business. They have X amount of trucks. They said that, oh, get into the business. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. And it might not go the same for them. And they, and they told them like, oh, you don't need a dispatcher. You don't need help finding loads. Do it on your own. Some people might. <laughs> so that dispatch service might be appealing to them. So, you know, Take this with a grain of salt. Just, I wanted to give a couple of tips, just what I thought, because a lot of people ask me, how can I help you choose your name for your freight dispatching service? And the truth is, I don't think that I can do that in the in a, in a video, you know, because everybody's individual journey is different. My name is Bright Moon LLC. It don't have to have anything to do with dispatching. The reason why I chose the name Bright Moon LLC for my business is because my grandmother uh, used to be a teacher and she created a song called Bright Moon. Um, it, it's just like a like a family insider kind of. It was like sentimental to me and so that's why I chose it. It didn't have to be Bright Moon Dispatching Services, you know. It, it could have been, like that would have been cool too. Don't put too much on choosing your name. Like it doesn't have to be the perfect thing. These tips help you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.